welcome to a couple days of my life. My name is Maddie and I enjoy wellness, balance, and just balancing a fitness lifestyle with having fun and my flight attendant job as well. So I have a couple more days off before I have to go back to work. So it's going to consist of really just resetting, cleaning things up, meal prepping for work, and also I just celebrated my 26th birthday over the weekend. So we definitely need to get our life back in order. So this morning I am going to go for a little run, so I'm just making a pre-run snack before we head out the door and drive to our destination. I just ate some peanut butter toast. As you can tell, my laundry is running. So lately I've been wearing a running vest that I got off of Amazon, so I'm bringing that. Two of these little soft water bottles that go in the little front pockets of the vest. I just finished my run. I did five miles, roughly an 11 minute average pace, 55 minutes total, which is a little bit slower than I prefer, but it was my birthday weekend and yeah, I ate a lot of desserts and food. So yeah, it didn't feel the best today, but the location was so beautiful and I'm so happy that I had the views and the fresh air and now I'm gonna go home and get showered. I'm all showered, feeling so much better. Now I'm gonna do some skincare. I've been breaking out hormonally. I struggled about like back in January, so like nine months ago, I got my birth control changed and it ripped my face to shreds, like all the scarring I'm dealing with. Um, but luckily most of that's healed up. I'm just dealing with like my normal hormonal breakouts that I've always had, uh, but I just wanted to kind of put that out there that that's something that I deal with because Honestly, it makes me nervous to go on camera and show this side of me. Um, but I think that we need to be more real on the internet sometimes because I always know that I feel good when I see influencers or, you know, just people being real and showing that we all have our own things that we struggle with. So, yeah, I just wanted to express that. Um, first, I'm using the Discoloration Correcting Serum from... Good molecules and then I'm going in with the azelaic acid from the ordinary I would love to talk more about my like skin journey and how I've grown to live with it and be okay with it and accept it as part of my life now I'm going in with the coco kind ceramide barrier serum this is new to me but I will say it feels really nice on the skin and lastly, I'm going in with my Vanny Cream Daily Facial Moisturizer with Hyaluronic Acid and Ceramides. Well, I guess this isn't technically the last step because you always need SPF, okay? Especially if you're dealing with hyperpigmentation and scarring, like I am, or have acne-prone skin, then you need to be wearing SPF, even on cloudy days like today. Put on a little bit of concealer and blush because I'm going to head out to the grocery store and grab everything I need for my meal prep for my flight attendant trip in a couple of days so I can do that meal prep tomorrow. And also, I'm going over to my mom's house tonight and I'm going to cook her some dinner. So I'm going to get the materials I need for these salmon bowls that I love making. I'm gonna leave my camera here though because the battery needs to charge. So I will see you when I get back from the grocery store. All right, I'm back from the grocery store and I got so much stuff, I feel like. And I love the rewards points at the store that I go to because it came out to $130. And when I added the rewards and everything, it came out to 90. So that's like $40 of savings, which I feel like is so good. But anyway, one of those savings is buy one, get one free on the cold brews. So I love that. And they had the silk pumpkin almond milk creamer so i'm actually gonna make one of these right now before i do a little cleanup around my house before going over to my mom's okay so here's the little haul so yeah the coffee's the creamer i have kombucha stuff for tonight's dinner because i'm making the salmon avocado like pokey i don't know like sushi bowls i guess um all sorts of fruits yeah i got a ton of stuff i want to highlight 
mush if y'all haven't tried mush it's such a good grab and go breakfast it's like overnight oats but their flavors are so incredible and the ingredients are really good um uncrustables so good for running like pre-run snack i know they're not the best for you but i love that got stuff for tonight's dinner got the salmon eggs couple different types of meat like i feel like i did really good for the price my boyfriend just got home from work i made a coffee and he's showering now so i'm going to take this time to pick up as much as i can and just leave it at that before i go to my mom's house skincare now I'm just throwing on a little bit of concealer and blush um, I do have therapy this morning and a couple errands I need to run so just prepping for that I'm starving can't wait to go downstairs and make some breakfast but I have a few things on the agenda for today one of those being therapy and those errands um, other than that we need to meal prep for my flight attendant trip that starts tomorrow I need to get my uniform ready for that as well, so steam that. My laundry, just a few things around the house before I leave for the trip that I like to get done. Of course, get a workout in. And we will be going to bed nice and early tonight because I live about an hour and a half from the airport in which I'm based out of. So I have a 5.30 a.m. report time tomorrow, so I will be waking up quite early to be there for that. I'm sorry, my cat is currently whacking my tripod. So that's why that's shaking. He is a menace. My cat is five months old. We just got him a couple months ago. You've seen him so far in the vlog, but his name is Tourmaline, aka that's like a black crystal that is supposed to be very powerful. So we named him Tourmaline. He's my first pet I've ever had, like, out on my own so he's just my baby boy like I'm so obsessed with him it's not even funny he's been the best cat in the world though like he has been everything I ever wanted in a cat like he's funny and playful but he's also like sweet and cuddly so it's just been perfect I think I went a little heavy over here I'm gonna have to blend the shit out of this okay Here's the breakfast situation for this morning. I know it looks a little extra, but breakfast is my favorite meal and I'm always starving in the morning. So I have toast with a little bit of butter, two kind of runny eggs, potatoes with cottage cheese and turkey bacon, kimchi in the middle and sriracha on top. All right, so I'm done eating breakfast. I just finished folding all of my laundry that I did yesterday and now I'm going to lint roll and steam out my uniform for work tomorrow. Also just packed my suitcase for work as well. I tried trimming my cat's nails. He did not like it. I only got through one paw before he was like freaking out and so I'm gonna have to wait for my uh, boyfriend to get home to do the other side but buddy tore me yeah he's like not amused he loves this ledge which scares me because it goes down to our lower floor he's so cute buddy and, oh he said no cameras cut the cameras are you coming? Anyways, we're having a productive day so far. Got all my laundry done, got my uniform done, got packed. Now I'm doing uh, my boyfriend's laundry because I felt like being nice and I know he's super busy this week. Like he's starting his last semester of his electrician journeyman school. So he's got a lot going on. So yeah, I figured I'd just take care of that for him. But anyway, I'm going to make an iced coffee before therapy 
That way I can be talkative. You want an ice cube, buddy? Yeah. He loves ice. You ready? Using the La Colombe cold brew, the bright and flavorful. And then using the silk pumpkin almond milk. This creamer, 10 out of 10. Just finished with therapy. Does anyone else love when your therapist gives you worksheets like and journal prompts? I want all the worksheets from my therapist. I don't know if that's just, if that's weird, but yeah. Anyways, I'm gonna run into Walmart because I need to grab just a couple random thing. Let's go to Walmart. I'm back from running errands. I got some new cat treats for my cat, so I'm gonna try to trim his nails again and see how that goes. Maybe he'll be more calm now. We're gonna give that a shot. We're gonna eat some lunch and then we're going to go to the gym. You wanna try this? Ooh, look at Someone help me with this cat. He's good. I'm sorry. Easy, good boy. For lunch, I'm just having this leftover pasta that has seafood in it that I had for one of my birthday dinners over the weekend and a piece of Texas toast that I just heated up. Okay, just a question. Does anyone else have a sweaty sleeper boyfriend? Like, we have to put baking soda on the mattress. That's what I read online, at least. So I'm going to strip the bed and put baking soda on the mattress and let it sit for a bit. And I'm going to open up that door and put the fan on to kind of air out the mattress. Ooh, the fans. <laughs> well the things us women sacrifice to live with our men. So I'm just taking my makeup off now. I'm about to head over to the gym to get a workout in. I'm gonna do a lower body lift, like a leg day full leg day glutes. I used to lift basically every time I worked out, which was like four or five times a week. But now that I've been focused on running, it's gone down to about like two times a week and the rest running. So usually I'll break it down into like a lower lift and then an upper lift nowadays. So we're gonna go get our lower lift in. Have to take off the makeup though because my skin freaks if I sweat and wear makeup. My cat's obsessed with these. He loves the cotton round. Yeah, it's funny because I've been lifting for like three years and I never pictured myself becoming a runner. But now that I've been running so much and getting so good at it, I feel like the days where I lift, I'm just like, oh, I'd rather be running. Lifting helps keep a lot of my muscles and my legs and my hips and everything strong, which is kind of necessary for running. Someone help. Let's go work out, I guess. I'm home from my workout. It was really good. It was nice to get a lift in. Oh, my boyfriend's calling me. Well, do you want to make mac and cheese with it? My boyfriend's at the grocery store getting milk for mac and cheese and veggies to go with our chicken wings tonight. What I need to do right now is get the meal prep going for my flight attendant trip because I want to make sure the kitchen's cleared out because my boyfriend is making dinner tonight and that's like a rare occasion. So I want to make sure all my stuff is out of the way. So I'm going to be prepping smoked turkey sausage, potatoes, asparagus for my dinners.
went to bed last night around 8 p.m. super early in preparation for this trip today I have to be in DC around 5 to work my flights so I'm just gonna get ready pack my lunchbox all of that stuff and roll out super early this morning um, last night after my boyfriend got home we just kind of hung out he made dinner for me he had his class online and I just finished up all of my last minute things I had to get done before leaving for this trip this morning I woke up with no active breakouts everything you see is just like scarring it made me super happy like my skin is super smooth this morning I always feel like it looks best after like my retinol nights anyway while my skincare soaks into my face before I do my makeup I'm going to run downstairs and the first thing I need is a coffee I don't prefer to drink coffee before I eat breakfast or even really within the first like 90 minutes of being awake just for like your hormone health however when it's 2 30 in the morning and you're running on like six hours of sleep which I know that's normal for some people but for me I like my eight hours you need a coffee first thing in the morning so let's go make a coffee Again, thank you so much for watching my very first vlog on YouTube. I had so much fun filming this and I can't wait to make more and I'm excited to actually have this video to edit during my layovers on this trip. I'll be gone for three days from Wednesday to Friday um, and I'd be interested in sharing some of my trips on YouTube as well in the future. But anyway, I hope you've enjoyed. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you next time.